Okay, the 80-20 rule basically refers to how often you should be self-promoting on your business. So you should definitely not be um, making sure that every post on your page directly relates to you and you should not be selling, 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 selling. No one wants to follow your page if all they're hearing about is what you do and how well you do it and how people should buy from you. Um, think about when you're on Facebook yourself, you want an enjoyable experience. You want to be able to find content that speaks to you for whatever reason that might be. Um, and you, this is where you actually really, really have to get to know your audience and this is why why I believe so strongly in organic social media is that you want to know what your audience likes. It's going to take you some time to kind of even watching your publishing tools to see um, what the response has been to past types of posts and then that way you make sure that you are posting similar content in the future. Um, once you get a pretty decent following then you can kind of start engaging different people by mixing up the content a little bit. But let's say, for instance, on my page, um, and it is, I will be 100% honest, I've kind of been a little bit more self-promotional lately, um, but the 80-20 rule would look a little like this. So on my post that I did today, I actually posted a post that could be considered to be self-promotional, but it's also kind of a community engagement type of post. Um, this is Truvai, a post, a newscast about Truvai, which is where I office out of here in Omaha. Um, and it does actually feature me in a portion of it. So that part of it is self-promotional, but for the most part, it's kind of benefiting the community. It's talking about community involvement. I'm actually tagging um, both Erin from KETV or sharing her post, I guess, but I'm also um, tagging Truvai Omaha. So it's it's basically kind of a, a mix of self-promotional and also um, and also a community post. So that one is kind of a gray area. But right here you see that this is definitely self-promotional. This is an ad that I created for myself. I have a direct call to action asking people to check my website out and hire me to do their new website. Um, I also yesterday had to post an update to my event. So there will be two post directly back to back, one yesterday, one today that are self-promotional and normally that shouldn't happen, but sometimes it's going to have to happen and that's completely fine. But if you keep scrolling back, you'll see that other things are the rest of these posts in between my yesterday post and the most recent promotional post prior to that, you're going to see a mixture of different types of content that will um, hopefully engage my following. So this, for instance, is a uh, an informational article about um, you know the difference between Squarespace and WordPress, which is a question that I get asked a lot. Um, next is a post, or I guess just previous to that, was a post about this amazingly awful hoax that's going on right now on Facebook that everyone thinks they're getting uh, their accounts cloned. And this just kind of talks about some tips on how to, uh, you know, make sure that you're updating your password and checking your own privacy and secu um, security settings on your personal Facebook page. So that is just informational and helpful to my clients. Um, I have oh another promotional one, so oops, I uh, maybe didn't get exactly my 80-20 there, but like I said, I've been a little more promotional. Um, this is just a picture of a, kind of sharing a whole lot of uh, ladies here in town, so again, a community involvement post, um, some ladies doing some fantastic things. Just a fun little post about my dog, and everyone loves seeing anything that you can do that involves your dog or your family or your outside activities. Anything that lets your clientele kind of get to know you a little bit better is always a good thing. Um, as long as it's a mix-up, you don't want to have just non-stop pictures of yourself and your family. Um, so here is a, a curated link that I found from The Power of Positivity. My following tends to really like inspirational quotes, positive things. That's kind of who my, uh, who my people are. So I tend to try to find articles and things that, that will interest them and engage them. Um, here again is another informational article um, through Forbes about uh, the Facebook data breach that happened um, earlier this month that's basically for European users, but just kind of an informational post. Here is a great inspirational quote that I love, but I, rather than just posting the quote, I actually paired it with a cute picture of my daughter when she was a little girl. So again, kind of bringing more of a personal touch to it. Um, here is a funny 
joke um, that kind of goes along with my business, but again, not self-promotional, just kind of a cute, funny joke. And then prior to that is just my last, uh, it's actually changing my cover video, which could be considered self-promotional because it is actually talking about what I do and what my vision is. So you can see that even though there were a few um, probably more self-promotional things in this last week than there normally would be. For the most part, I have provided um, my clients with some kind of interesting curated links, um, inspirational posts, um, a variety of different types of content, jokes, um, things that might help them, inspire them, and that really seems to work well for my uh, type of following. You're going to need to get to know your following well, but you are going to want to mix it up, especially in the beginning while you're determining what your clientele actually likes to see. Um, and you can refer to my upload. I have a PDF upload in a couple of places on my online school that refers to types of posts, and it will talk about all the various types of content and posts that you can post and how often you should be posting them. But just remember the 80-20 rule. For the most part, 80% of your content should be something that engages or enlightens your audience. Only 20% of it should be self-promotional. Um, and that is the 80-20 rule in a nutshell. And if you have any questions, obviously feel free to email me or reach out to me. Thank you.